Hey guys, this is Jason from xlsxhelp.com and today I wanted to go over how to create an XML document in Excel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by enabling the developer tab. So you're going to hit the office button, go to Excel options, and you're going to click on show developer tab in the ribbon and hit OK. And now you'll see that this uh, developer option is available. So that's the first thing we want to do. The second thing we want to do is create what's called an XML schema. So as you can see, and you're going to have to copy this format, I have starting in brackets my sections, and then section I have store, the address, city, state, and phone number. And what I want to do is create an XML file, and for my data I'm going to use all the target stores in New Jersey and I'm going to duplicate this second line here and that's going to tell Excel that there's more data to come so you can do this in Notepad, I'm doing it in Dreamweaver um, so if you're going to do it in Notepad just save it as .xml if you're doing it in Dreamweaver you can do save as and hit the drop down you can find XML right here I've already saved it as map.xml the second thing you're going to want to do is in the developer tab you're going to hit source then you're going to go hit XML maps and you're going to add an XML map and that's just what you did so I'm going to hit my map that I created I'm going to open that up you can ignore this and you're going to hit OK and now you're going to see what you've defined in your XML tree so in, under your sections you have store defined, address defined, city state and phone what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight this and you're gonna drag it right into A1 and now your headings have popped up so what, what's great about this it's really simple to make the XML file in the, the XML map and it's even easier just to drag and drop it in on sheet one what I have is my data that's already been pre-formatted um, so it's easy as just highlighting your data coming into your A2 cell and pasting that in and then you're gonna go and hit file or the office button save as hit the drop down and hit XML data and let's call this target XML and hit save. It's going to tell you that all the pictures and all the, 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 the graphic-y stuff that you do is going to be lost. That's fine. And you're done. So if we start with a fresh workbook so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a fresh workbook and I'm going to go to my data tab and I'm going to get external data from other sources and I want to get my data from I want to import the data that I just created from the XML document I'm going to go to my desktop where did I save it I'm going to go to my recent files data get external data from other sources XML data import and I'm going to select my target.xml import it and that's all you gotta do if you guys have any questions head over to xlsxhelp.com and I'll help you with whatever you need thanks guys